We are at Ford's uh, CES booth today and uh, I'm with Patrick um, from the Palo Alto Research Center. When everybody else is focused on the Ford GT, I thought I'll get a glimpse of what Ford is doing with Amazon Echo. Hi Patrick. Hi. So, like mentioned, uh, can you just give us a brief overview of what uh, Ford is doing with the Amazon Echo? Sure. What we're showing here today is an integration with the Amazon Alexa service, which powers the Amazon Echo within your home. Um, there's two parts of what we're doing today. Uh, for the first part, we've integrated with our Sync Connect connected vehicle platform to enable voice commands to your car from your home. Um, so in the case of our connected vehicles like the plug-in uh, electric Focus, or with our other connected vehicles like the 2017 Escape that we have here, uh, with, with your voice in your home talking to your Amazon Echo, you could ask for things like battery status, unlock your car, lock your car, start your car if it's cold outside and you want to get it warm. Um, on the other side, within the car, we've integrated with our Sync 3 platform and, Am and our AppLink platform to enable a mobile app that talks to the Amazon uh, Alexa voice service uh, so that you can access all the voice-based functionality that the Echo provides within your home from within your car. And we're especially focused on the home automation and Internet of Things side of that so that as you're driving away from your home, if you forgot to uh, lock your house, you can ask, say, Alexa, please lock my front door, and your front door will lock. Um, you can also, if you're approaching your house at night when it's dark, you can turn on your front porch, porch light with, uh, with your voice through the Amazon Alexa service. Okay, uh, so this is with respect to home automation. So are you trying to in keep this as an open API to sync with the, uh, I mean, to work with Fos Sync 3 as well as, uh, or the AppLink? That's right, so we used, we used AppLink, uh, which is uh, based on uh, Smart Device Link, which is our open source effort uh, to connect mobile apps to the car, um, to integrate with the Amazon APIs that provide the Alexa service. Um, and so that, that was a very straightforward connection, kind of standard internet technologies to, to allow us to add all that functionality into the car for those users, that, those, those drivers and consumers that have the Amazon Echo or the Alexa. So, um, okay, uh, with respect to home automation again, so, so what is this whole for the future of the automotive industry? So is it going towards the like of connected living, autonomous driving, all those things? So is it going to be a combination of all or this is just only one part of the connected program? I think it's just a part of, of what kind of connected vehicles represent. Um, now that you've got vehicles on the internet, um, they can communicate with other devices on the internet. Um, so in this case, uh, Amazon through the internet is, conne is connecting with other uh, home automation providers like Samsung SmartThings and Wink. Um, and we're able to integrate with those just by talking to Amazon. And the great thing about this functionality is as Amazon integrates with additional partners, uh, the Ford functionality through uh, through Sync, Sync 3 will automatically get that functionality and users will be able to access that without having to do anything. So basically you're expanding your value chain partners as well? We are. Okay, Patrick, so the last question from me for you is uh, when do you think this will be out? So we announced it yesterday, we're demonstrating it here at CES and we've, we've committed to having it out for the consumers by the end of the year. So this will be available on all the 27, uh, 2017 MY models? Uh, so the in-home functionality requires a connected vehicle, so that's today that's any of our uh, plug-in vehicles or any vehicle starting with the 2017 Escape that has a modem built in. Um, for the in-vehicle uh, functionality, that will work with any vehicle that has Sync 3, which was introduced last year. Fantastic. Thanks, Patrick. Thanks, Mr.